What's going on guys? It is Dez here with a sniper gameplay. That is right, a Call of Duty sniper gameplay. And this is on the map Terminal. And for a lot of us that remember the Hutch video on Terminal, it was a TDM where he discussed tips and tricks of sniping with the intervention. That's, that's really where it started for me. And then it went on to Optic Hex, seeing Optic Hex run around in free-for-alls and um, put up 30, 30 and lower than 10 scores was really, really something to see. And he would always talk about topics, and, and that's really what got me into the whole YouTube scene and the whole commentary scene. I originally started out making just like little mini Taj's that were absolutely shit. And I realized that I really wanted to just move into a more commentary, being a commentator, that sort of thing. And I felt that's really where I fit in with the whole scene. And now you have people that, I mean, like, I put this video up unlisted and sent it to uh, a couple people um, that were asking for videos to talk over. So I was like, you know, I haven't been posting Modern Warfare 3. I'll just give it to them. And they didn't even give it the time of day, which leads me into one of my topics of discussion. But what it also led me into is getting a slew of, of shit-talking individuals that are like, oh, 30 and 6, or 30 and 7 and 7 minutes, that's that's garbage, man. You should be doing that in, in 4 minutes and or 5 minutes lower. And I really... First of all, I don't give a shit because it's a 30, no, a, a 30 score with lower than 10, and that's my standards, and I don't have to answer to you, so you can go do that somewhere else. Secondly, it wasn't addressed to you, so you shouldn't be the one responding to my video about whether or not this is worthy enough. But that leads me into what I wanted to talk about, which is... When do you have a voice within the community? Like, when is it okay then for me to just tweet at Hutch or tweet at Hex, which Hex is a, a different case because I've met him in real life. We went to, um, I went to MLG Ohio, met with Hex and a lot of the people from Optic, really cool guy. Um, so we'll not, we'll not count him into this because usually um, if he has a question and I respond, he usually responds to me with something else. Um, with either the response or like, hey, what's up? Da 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 da. But when do you have a voice within the community to just tweet at Hutch and have him recognize you, like, or even give you the time of day? Wings of Redemption is another one. If you if you tweet at him, um, normally ten to one he doesn't respond. And and I get it that he has so many followers and so many things that he uh can't respond to everybody and I completely understand that and I understand it about Woody's gamertag and, and that sort of thing but uh, I also you know put an unlisted clip of a really nice smooth shot from a game of Modern Warfare 3 and Domination when Woody was tweeting out and Facebooking that he really wanted uh, some clips from Modern Warfare 3 so I figured hey I'll throw this in there you know, and I was probably the first or second person to even get him a clip. And then I watched the, the parody video and it wasn't in there. So, I mean, w at what point, Call of Duty community, do do you start to have a voice? Is it is it far is it 4,000 subscribers? Is it 10,000 subscribers? 20,000 subscribers? Like when is it when do you become relevant in this community outside of the realm of all of the 12 to 14 year old kids that are just a paycheck to everyone else you know I mean if, if you think that you're making a, a huge difference in the influence of that specific somebody then you're really not like in, in in the overall just of it the majority of the situation is that you are just a paycheck and nobody gives a shit about what your opinion is of the certain situation Whereas me, I have never changed through the three years that I've been in YouTube. You know, I have 200 and some v videos on this channel, and I have 68 videos on another channel that is uh, not partnered, and it has copyrighted music and all that kind of stuff. But And I was just going over the things, and, and I just really want to know from the community, 
when do you get your voice? Like, when do I have a say in certain things? Or like, when when will the things that I say become controversial? And and I and I don't want to get to that point because I always want to be upfront and honest with you guys because that's what I've always done and always will do. And I think that when you bind honesty and truth in something, the more hate it receives because you are not following suit of what everyone else is doing because that's the trend. I am 100% an old school sniper player, Call of Duty player, all that kind of stuff. I came from when that shot right there was a really awesome shot and it would be appreciated by a lot of people and that's what I like to do. I like to post free for all commentaries and just do my thing and I believe that the overall skill of a sniper or an individual in a Call of Duty game is actually winning the game and not making clips okay so that's and that's just my opinion now that's not to say that those getting clips and kill feeds and trick shots and stuff is not entertaining but that's two different sides of the spectrum entertainment and skill and you have to be skillful to be entertaining but you can have skill and entertain so I just want to entertain you with a free-for-all that everybody can enjoy so when you come to me and you want to talk shit on the things that I do just remember that you can be a paycheck to me just as much as you can be a paycheck to someone else Except for I don't do this for a paycheck. I do this for you guys to, to, to talk to you and shoot the shit about everyday life to help you out. So take this as an art because this is my skill. Hopefully you understand and I want to know when the fuck am I going to get my voice. This has been Dez. I'm out. Take it easy. Bye.